friends, thanks for watching. Today's video is a kitchen clean and organized with me. I am deep cleaning and rearranging some of the messiest cabinets in my kitchen. I am also so excited because this video is a collaboration with my friend Brittany. Her channel is Brittany Serrato here on YouTube. She is a mom of two adorable girls and makes really fun videos, lots of cooking and cleaning motivation. I know y'all will love her. I will have her channel linked in my description box so you can go check her out when you are done watching my video. And if you are here from Brittany's channel, Channel. Hi, and thanks for stopping by. I hope this video gives you tons of cleaning motivation, and I hope you'll consider subscribing before you go. Let's get cleaning. I am starting out cleaning today by loading the dishwasher with all of the dirty dishes that I had in the sink. I didn't have too many today, just a few coffee cups and glasses and things like that. I really try not to let things pile up in the sink. That is one of my biggest pet peeves is having a sink full of dishes. It just gives me tons of anxiety. Let me know in the comments what is something that you cannot let go for too long because it drives you insane. This is my all time favorite sink cleaner and I just saw the other day when I went to order some more that they make it in a powder as well. So I may have to try that. If you have used it before, let me know what the difference is between the cleanser and the powder. Is one better than the other or do they have different purposes? This is just the best cleaner for stainless steel things because it gets all of those water stains and lime stains and everything else like that off of your stainless steel. So it is a favorite of mine. Also totally in love with my new kitchen faucet, which I will have linked in my description box because seriously, if you love farmhouse style anything, then you would love this kitchen faucet, but it also is perfect for cleaning out my sink. It has the most amazing water pressure ever. And yes, I do like to dry out my sink after I uh, clean it out just because it definitely makes it shine and sparkle even more. This is my favorite glass cooktop cleaner that I use on my stove. It is great for getting up tough stains and messes. I actually let the stove top go a little bit more than I normally do, but I wanted to make sure that I was able to show you in this video just how well it works. So I did have quite a few tough messes that had been burnt on from a pot or two that had overflowed accidentally. And this just does such a great job of getting those messes up. The first time I ever cleaned my stove, I had to also use a razor blade and I know that they sell a couple of tools like that on Amazon that you can get but since then I haven't really had to do anything quite that serious on my stovetop just this cleanser and you will see when I am done just how shiny it is and then I always go in with a multi-surface spray just to get the knobs and the rest of the stove any place that I basically touch <laughs> rest of my stainless steel products by using the Method Steel For Real Cleaner. So that would be my microwave here and then my dishwasher. And I love this stuff. I really think that it works really well. And even on the parts of the microwave here that are not stainless steel, I don't feel like it leaves a lot of streaks or anything like that. So it is definitely a favorite product of mine. Another result of the construction were little bits of dust and even some small pieces of grout that had kind of fallen out of the wall or from I don't know where onto my countertops. And so right along the edge of the granite here was a little bit dusty and messy. So I am just going in with my method granite cleaner and really deep cleaning. Most of the time when I clean my countertops, I don't take everything off and scrub them down. I just kind of do a general wipe down of the area that I've been using. But on this particular day, the whole 
countertop needed to be cleaned off so I took everything off my countertops and really made sure to scrub until I didn't feel any more grit or grime. <laughs> granite cleaner is another one of those method products that you can see a big difference in the before and after my granite always is pretty clean but there is a definite difference in the sparkle and shine when I use this granite cleaner than when I use just like a rag and water or a multi-surface spray same thing with that steel for real cleaner I just feel like it makes the appliances look 10 times shinier than if I were to use any other type of spray so it definitely works and has my heart Thinking of drowning in those blue eyes I'm losing sight cause I am falling I'm so deep down, deep down And it's not a lie that I die I can't hide of my microfibers and towels into the washing machine. I really try to rotate out my microfibers as I'm cleaning. I don't use the same microfiber on multiple surfaces, so I wanna make sure that I get those nice and clean. And then we are moving on to day two, and this was the day that I was tired of looking at my cluttered cabinet, so we are tackling two cabinets today. And I definitely could do more cabinets in my kitchen. It would be an hour long video if I included them all in this one. So let me know by hitting the like button if you would like to see more of these kinds of decluttering and organizing videos, because I would be happy to make more. But the two cabinets that I'm tackling today are my plastic Tupperware and cup container and then my spices cabinet. And honestly, I had way more cups and water bottles than I think I realized. It wasn't until I got back in there and started pulling them all out, and you will see in just a second, I have so many cups with straws and water bottles. Some of these I had had since college and I just didn't need to hold on to them anymore. So I got rid of like four or five of them and it made a lot more room in the cabinet that I didn't have before. to wipe out these cabinets, the insides of the cabinets, and then the tops of them as well. And it is very hard for me to reach the top of the cabinet, so I just briefly stood up here on the countertops to make sure that I could reach everything. There wasn't really that much dust. I was expecting a lot more for some reason, but then I also noticed that there was a little bit of dust on the windowsill, probably again from the construction. So I just went ahead with this rag and tackled every piece of dust that I could see from here. This is not something that I normally clean, and it was definitely overdue. Be
love this turntable that I have in my cabinet, but I definitely felt like it belonged on the top shelf because I was reaching things on the top shelf more than I was reaching things on the bottom shelf. So I just went ahead and switched those things out so that what I was grabbing more often was lower and much easier to grab. This is what this cabinet looks like now. It definitely looks a lot better. I was able to get rid of several water bottles that I did not use, and there is still a little bit of extra empty space, which is great. I still have a ton of cups though, and then everything else on the top, I don't reach super often, and that's totally fine because if I need to, then that turntable is what makes it 10 times easier. So this spice cabinet really didn't have any rhyme or reason before I initially tried to put all spices on the bottom and then baking spices and stuff on the top, but then a bunch of random things just kind of got shoved onto these different shelves. And so I wanted to make sure, first of all, that I had wiped everything out and then I decided to organize it in this way. I put all of my hot chocolate and seasonal items like that on the top shelf because I don't really ever reach for those. And then you'll see in just a minute that I reorganized the bottom shelf for all of my cooking spices, so thyme and rosemary and cumin and mustard seed and all that and then anything that is for baking I put on the middle shelf so cinnamon sticks vanilla extract lemon extract things like that there are definitely other baking spices and things that I could put in here there is tons of room still for me to add to it I didn't want to chalk this thing full of stuff but it is definitely way better than it was before any of you are wondering where this little spice rack is from I do believe that I got this one from Walmart I would also love to get another turntable and put it in this cabinet but a smaller one I think that that would be really really nice to have maybe on that middle shelf because it's so much um, taller but I don't know if I'm gonna be able to find one that's small enough for this shelf but I may have to get another one of those spice racks it is perfect I was able to put some of the shorter spices at the back and then the taller ones in the front and it just makes it super easy to grab what I need because I can see all of the labels. So doing in today's video is cleaning the floors. I'm starting by using my dry Swiffer just to get the worst of the dirt up. I also have my robot vacuum that does a lot of my daily cleaning, but I think because of all the construction, I just wanted to make sure I got all of the corners really well. And it had been a couple of weeks since I had mops, so I'm just using my Mrs. Meyers multi-surface concentrate, putting just a small amount into my mop bucket, adding hot water to do the floors. I will have this mop linked in my description box below if you are interested in checking it out. It is great if you have wood or laminate floors and you don't want to get them super saturated with water the head of this mop is made with a microfiber material so it is perfect for that so I will definitely be sure to link that down below if you are interested
that you left me Sat beside in your car in the backseat Wide awake is the way that you left me, oh Now it's clear we are here back at your house And I keep fading into the background I'm wide awake, now you keep missing out for sure Thanks so much for watching today's video. I hope that it helps you to tackle some decluttering and organizing in your own kitchen. Make sure you go check out Brittany's video and show her some love and I will see you very soon with a brand new video. Bye guys.